We're going to look a little bit ahead down to WrestleMania 39, and we're doing that because, hey, we're here uh, in L.A., and it's going to be at SoFi Stadium next year. I've been hearing a little buzz about someone you might be uh, going up against next year because how do you make it bigger? The only way we could think of it is if maybe you're going up against uh, a guy you know very well, a guy who maybe introduced the Super Bowl this year, uh, The Rock. I don't care who you are and what you've been doing on the movie set and, and what kind of fight scenes you, you've been putting together on the big screen. When it comes to a WWE ring, when it comes to the Universal Championship and, and the WWE Championship for that matter, once I put them together and, and create the greatest championship to ever be a part of, Part of sports entertainment, professional wrestling, I think I'm the safe bet to, to put your money on, boys. So go ahead. But to me, that that's a good sign that you're doing something right. When when you have, you know, the the biggest uh, box office draw when it comes to the big screen, somebody who's been just knocking out of the park for for a, what maybe well over a decade at this point in Hollywood. You know, a lot of people thought that the Paul brothers were a joke when they were getting into mixed martial arts in boxing, and they've really proven a lot of people wrong. So I'm wondering how you feel about it, that you're bringing these YouTubers, essentially, who have just become these massive stars into the fold. I think as performers, you gotta be multi-layered. You, you gotta be, uh, you know, in performing arts, you have to have multiple, you know, lanes uh, of, of a skill set. So these guys, yeah, they started out as YouTubers. Uh, but I, I think, uh, you know, I, I've, I don't think I've ever talked to Logan Paul, even though he's been around, uh, you know, WWE for a few weeks now here and there. Uh, I definitely never met his brother, Jake. But these guys, from everything that I've ever seen or heard, they put in the work. They, they live a full-time boxing schedule. They train. They eat. They, they you know, they, they do everything that a, a professional boxer would do to prepare for a fight. So, I mean, I, I think it'd be crazy to say that they aren't, they're, they're not, you know, boxers. And then, you know, you, you tie that into what they're following. That, that's a huge part of this day and age and through social media and these personal platforms. You gotta have people tuned into what you're doing and they've done that, but they've also put in the work. So, I mean, kudos to them.